I have been a customer with DreamHost for nearly 10 years and to this day still believe that they are the best way to start a blog for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a blog that includes hosting, a domain name, and we're even going to write your first blog post too. Oh, and let's try to do this in less than three minutes. Here we go. DreamHost offers different levels of WordPress hosting, but I can assure you that the cheapest plan here is more than sufficient to get started. So select that option and on the next page, let's register your new domain name, which is free with the annual plan. So go ahead and add that. Next, fill out your payment information, which can be a credit card or PayPal. We don't need any of these options, so uncheck them and continue to set up your DreamHost account. And finally, submit your order. The last step is to create a strong password, so do that and continue on to DreamPress. It takes a few minutes for everything to get set up, so keep an eye out for this email. Back in your DreamHost dashboard, the first thing we want to do is make your website secure with HTTPS. So on the left, go to Websites, Secure Certificates, Add, and then select the free Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. There is truly no benefit to paying for it. This will also take a few minutes, and when it's done, you'll see that it's installed, and we can confirm that by going back to WordPress, Manage WordPress, Manage, and then Manage WordPress. Notice how the URL has changed to your domain name slash WP dash admin, and there is the lock icon, which means that we are secure with HTTPS. Go into the plugin section, and the first thing you should do is to deactivate all the pre-installed plugins and delete them so that we can start with a clean slate. Next up, let's take care of setting your WordPress password by going to your profile page and doing that there. Let's customize your website by going to settings, general, and giving your website a title and a tagline. Finally, let's take a look at your new website by clicking on the link in the upper left corner. If you're not thrilled with the look and feel of your website, you can access your WordPress dashboard up here and go to appearance, add new, and then browse for a theme that you like. My two favorites are Hello Elementor and Generate Press because they are simple and fast. I'm going to install and activate Generate Press and then go back to my website to see how the layout has changed. That looks better. Back in your dashboard along the left, you have a place to write blog posts, manage your images, create pages, respond to comments, customize your appearance, and add functionality with plugins. But as promised, let's add our first blog post together up here by going to Posts, Add New. Add your title at the very top and then begin writing the content of your blog post. You can add images by doing this and simply dragging an image from your computer. Give it a caption and continue writing your blog post below. You can add lots of other cool elements the same way like headings, lists, links, and so much more. When you're ready, go ahead and click on the blue publish button and then check out your very first blog post. Congratulations, you are now officially a blogger. One last thing I forgot to show you was how to change your display name instead of this nonsense. So to do that, go back to users, edit, and then give yourself a nickname and choose that as your display name. That looks perfect. And that right there should get you started on your blogging journey. The next step I recommend is to check out this video right here, which is 15 important things to do after installing WordPress. I'll see you guys over there.